So I was working on another video, but it was taking a bit too long to finish. Anyway, I started a new level, and I thought I'd just throw together some stream highlights from my first stream working on it. I stole this idea from Xylanox, but he's unlisted the video, so no one has to know. Wait. God damn it. Oh, why does it do that? Why is it just... It sets the mic to default and then... Like, doesn't have any mic input. I don't- OBS is weird, dude. I'm not gonna be having background music playing in this stream because I'm making gameplay. And did not mean to do that- oh, God damn it. Because I'm gonna be having the level song playing. And what I was saying is that I'm using Plumette by Infi Infinity One Fin now. I have it starting at an offset of 1.2 seconds because the intro is really long. If you listen to it. That's gonna be annoying to sit through every single attempt, so I have it start 1.2 seconds in. And I could use the fade in feature here, but it's like a couple second fade, and that's way too long. So I just have edit song that starts at zero volume, and then I have another edit song that fades it into full volume in 0.4 seconds, and it sounds like this. You can't hear game audio, of course, uh, yeah, of course you can't. I'm going to be using this entire song. The song is about four and a half minutes long, yeah, I'm making a four and a half minute long level. Uh, I'm gonna try to be a lot more efficient than Glorious Fortress. There was a lot of things I did that wasted a lot of my time working on that, um, but this might take a while. I want to see if I can get this out by June for Pride Month, because there are some like LGBT related undertones, I guess. Don't know if that's gonna happen, so we'll see. This is like a passion project, and I just want to give it the time it needs to be as good as I want it to be. Homo Treble, shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, what will this level be named? That's a good question. Did I? It'll be named Unnamed Zero, my masterpiece. Now this is going to be named My Little Mountain Town. And if you don't like that name, uh, sucks to be you, I guess. Rip, hope you feel better. Okay, first things first, I want the player to start up here, and instead of teleporting the player with teleport portals like you would have used to, now what you do, I'll just use one of these objects. We give this a new group. Group 1, I don't use group 1 for invisible anymore because there's just the hide option. So group 1 now is the player spawn group for me. I think that's what it works best as. And what you do is you go over here, options, spawn group 1. See if I put it over here, the player still starts over here. If it was platformer mode, they would spawn right at it. So in 2.2, I'm going to do some custom camera work. I'm going to have a camera guide right here. And we're going to, what am I going to do? I'm gonna place a static camera trigger, group two, follow. And I should organize my triggers. In 2.2, you have all this space before the start of the level, so I'd like to try to put my triggers over there. I was way too disorganized with Glorious Fortress. It, it takes more time in the short term, but in the long run, if you keep things organized, it really helps you. This is not Glorious Fortress 2, although it will have a part that kind of has a similar feel to the castle part, being like very vast and exciting. That's just something I like to do in levels in general. Yeah. I'm trying to put my water bottle lid on. There we go. And then I want to put the camera over here and then move it into place. We can start our background over here because otherwise there's like weird stuff with the camera starting over here and it like pushes the camera over to the side. Like the camera is limited to here and it can't move to the side anymore, which messes things up. So I'm going to start it, I guess, like over there and then have it ease into place. This yellow line is where the player is, so... Minus 120. That's pretty good. I don't like how the player is on their side. So I need to move the spawn point to be like that. There we go, that's better. Alright, I think we can make gameplay now. Uh, I might also do slow speed. I'm really gonna have fun going to the music. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of fun to make. I think I'm gonna make like little, little rocks or something to start off. I don't know, I'm just gonna have fun with this and, and mess around with the gameplay. I'm gonna go for like, I think medium to hard demon gameplay to start off. And towards the end, it's gonna get more towards like bordering hard to insane demon. So I'm gonna do some late orb jumps. It's a bit hard. Let's just end the level with this for now. Uh, four minutes, 44 seconds is how long this level's gonna be. Oh my god. You know, I'm kind of excited though. I haven't made a level that long in forever. It's gonna take 1,394 hours. All right, I'm, I'm going to remember that. I'm going to remember the fact that you guessed that and let's compare how accurate that is once I finish this level. 
Am I gonna try and make it my best again? I'm not going into this with my goal of making this better than any anything I've made before. I'm going into it with the goal of, of doing the idea I have justice, and as long as I feel like I'm doing that, I'm happy. There's a chance it gets mythic, but I'm not relying on that. I, I think it'll at least get legendary. I'm much more excited about this than I was about Glorious Fortress. Yeah, make it so the player has to jump late. What if you like bonk your head on something? I want it to be. I want to match the blunk, the like very short note there. The H block is the thing, right? Ooh, I like that. That's good. Oh, I forgot you can do that now. <laughs> what, what would that do if I made the dash or make you go straight down? Making layouts is make it so players don't cheese it, like putting spikes under the pink orb there. I, I mean, I'll get around to that. I don't have to do all that immediately. Okay, so if we do that and put, like, pink pad there. I think I'm going to make it so you die to, like, a spike over here or something. Yeah, whereas if you hit the dash orb, I should make it so you hit the pad sooner. Yeah, and then you don't die to that. Perfect. I'm liking this. This is good. What's the theme of this level? A mountain, let me guess, a mountain town? Man, how, how did he get it? You have crazy intuition. It's gonna be half, that's gonna be, jeez, uh, I can't talk. That's gonna have to be something I buffer because I click too soon and if I have like an orb, I would hit the spike. Okay, this is pretty good. Uh, I don't like this jump. This jump kind of sucks. I'm gonna move that over a little bit. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the gameplay is gonna look like. I wanna have like houses as structures as the song goes on. This is gonna be more like pebbles on the ground and there's gonna be houses in the background. Can have more fun with these um these platforms as well. I want these to just be like rocks. Yeah, I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do for the structuring here. I'm I'm having fun with it. Maybe like a snowy mountain town or not so snowy mountain town. Neither. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be either of those things. I don't know why you assume this would be either snowy or not snowy. Like, what is with your binary view of life? So black and white. These platforms, I need to make sure, are, like, connected to the ground in some way. Okay, that's cool. I actually really need to use the bathroom. Be in an apocalyptic town where everyone is being burnt alive. Yes, with the same song, too. Okay, I'm back. I didn't eat anything, but I did have a piece of a cocoa butter chip. Maybe I'll use like a spider orb or something here. Oh boy, that is not what that's supposed to do. Huh? I get, I'll just put normal blocks underneath it. Extended collision. Spider orbs are just buggy, I guess. Ooh, what if I do more H block shenanigans here? How's that work? Ooh, I like that. Maybe I had to jump later there. It's just an idea. And then. That would mean I could move this over half a block. Yeah, that's good. What style of decoration? Um, just my typical style that I've done with Glorious Fortress and Cellar Path, pretty much. Very, like, subwoofer-ish style, I guess. Because I just copy subwoofer. I like jumping off the edge of that, it feels cool. Uh, maybe I'll make that, like, just a slab. I have to land on here and then fall, jump off a block like this. Yeah, like the, the bling in the song. That's cool. I'm just, I'm addicted to playing it. This is actually really good gameplay. I love this. I think I'm gonna make this a uh, pink orb inside the block so you have to click again. The song has a climax or if it's laid back. Gotcha. It really starts picking up here, around here. This is when it... I'm gonna have a lot of fun building these parts, because the energy is gonna go crazy. I wanna have like an intense rainstorm, and like lightning and thunder in this part. And then, of course there's the iconic part, right here. I'm so excited, I'm, I have such cool ideas for this right here. I'm gonna have like a duel with low gravity, and it feels like you're flying through there, it's gonna be four times speed, the, the screen is gonna be flashing different images. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, every time I eat, I just start to spontaneously die. It just happens. Uh, dash orb. I could make another dash orb, mess around with those more. Ooh, I like that. 
That's nice. I'm not gonna be doing switching direction in this level, by the way. I don't feel like dealing with that. This level turned into a video of me making it. You'll watch it with your brother. You make a hard offer. Yeah, I'm gonna probably make videos working on this level. It's not optimized for the algorithm or anything, but I just really wanna make this. Ooh, that's a good timing. I like that. The idea I have for the level is I want the day to kind of like, I want it to gradually go from like early morning to late at night throughout the level. Make it orangey like tidal wave and I don't actually know what tidal wave looks like. I look, took one look at it and immediately forgot. Uh, what if I do some, some gravity gimmicks here? That would be fun. Mess around with some 2.2 features. So I make gravity a bit lower right here for this part of the song. I have the, the camera gradually climb as you go up into the next part. I like that. Each time the gravity gets stronger, or less strong, I mean. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. And then uh, maybe what I can do is I can exit static and do some uh, edge triggers. So I'm <laughs> edge, ha. Huh? funny. Camera controls are definitely something I'm gonna have a lot of fun, like, making way more dynamic, interesting gameplay to, rather than just having, like, the ball be stuck in certain borders, being able to mess around with those border sizes. So I think I'll have, like, edge triggers making it so you only have a certain range where the camera can go, but it can go up and down a little bit. I think that would be cool. Free fly is underrated, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that with ball. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Uh, to test this out, I'm just going to use a ship portal for now. That's gonna make things way easier. So free mode, padding zero. Okay, padding zero, you have to go all the way to the edge. And I then I would guess if I changed padding to one, you barely have to go even close to the edge. Okay, now it just always follows the ship no matter how far it is. Okay, so if I set padding to like 0.5 and then easing all the way up, that should be more or less what I want. I want the camera to move pretty slowly. I'll use these as edges. I just got to place down an edge trigger, so I can edge the lines. So four is gonna be the up edge, and five, oh, you can unlock too, that's nice, is going to be down. Okay, um, then we have the new ground. Ah, uh, new ground, get it, get it, cause, cause, new ground, new, ah, uh, it's funny. You're excited to be at the first day of building. Yes, welcome. I'm excited for all of you who are able to be here and, and witness the start of this project. It's an idea I've had for a long time that I've kind of been unsure if I'm gonna do it, but I decided, screw it, I'm just gonna make this thing. Okay, so that's the edge there. That's the edge there. But now we make that the ball mode instead of ship. Ship is just easier to test it with. So we're going to have kind of like house-like structures here. Okay, this is where the structuring gets a little more complex. Not in a constant building grind, just a little here and there. Yeah, I want to be consistent working on this level, but I also want to be making more content, so I'll have to balance those things. Um, I think we just have like over overlapping buildings, so we have another one here, or something like that. Okay, maybe we put like a gravity portal there. So we flip around here. fun to create when you just compare yourself to yourself. Yeah, no, I just, it took me like several levels that were getting mod sends. Like I think I made like three or four separate levels that were getting mod sends before I made one that actually got rated. Um, and I didn't care, I just made what I wanted to. Eventually I got really good at creating because I've always just really liked creating. Yeah, this, this song goes so hard. There's a reason I want to make a level with it. This and uh, Viva are both really good. Like, I don't think smart start pause should check for like all the things you already put in on a start pause because you could put like fake portals and that always messes up smart start pause, but it should have like a smart camera option where it can check what the camera's supposed to be at. That would be nice. Maybe do another blue portal. Repetition is always nice. Memory is dying. Uh, you know, sometimes you just go brain dead and, and perish, it happens. I think I'll add a coin route to this part too. There's so much free moving up and down. What's my hardest? The cellar path. It's my own level, and then after that it's bloodbath and windstorm. I don't really play hard levels anymore, I didn't really enjoy it that much. It's pretty good. 
for a tidal wave auto, it's a really fun extreme. Yeah, sounds like that has great gameplay. Really, really engaging. Maybe I'll compare these with like a black orb or something. What's my method when it comes to structuring? Right now I'm trying to base this off of like real rooftops because that's what I want to do when I decorate. So I try to keep in mind what I'm going to do when I decorate it. Have that in mind. Other than that, just have like appealing shapes, have nice distances between everything. Uh, really, the gameplay comes into play with the structuring a lot, trying to have gimmicks that repeat in a satisfying and predictable way. It all really comes together into kind of like one whole thing. Yeah, this could take more than 500 hours. If it does, it does. So the idea is that now I want like the background walls of these things. So these are going to be houses with rooftops. So I gotta fill these in. I'm doing a little bit of decoration here, which is the lack of music is quite a lot more noticeable when I'm not playtesting every five seconds. What story am I trying to tell or show? Um, it's kind of complicated to explain. Keep shit binding of Isaac, thanks. Good, good description. You guys will like it once I actually make the level, but no, it's it's something that just sounds f***ing insane if I try to describe it with words. You like Glorious Fortress? Thank you, you get to live another day. Made good progress, we've made like 20 seconds of gameplay, it's so good. Affordable housing structuring. Ah, uh, no, the prices are rising, you better get it fast. You own the mountain housing monopoly, dude, get out of my level, yo, Reed. Taking over my level, what is this colonization? It's colonialism here. Maybe I'll add a little spike here, too. Roof spikes to fight against the wretched city bird population. Ah uh, yeah, we're really innovating now. We do whatever we can out of desperation. This bird problem has gotten really bad. I'm not gonna take this level too seriously as far as trying to make everything look like a realistic environment. Because I want to focus on making the gameplay fun. Oh, I could put like another blue orb there and then you have to land on a platform down here. Evil Hut marked as Yorid's house. Maybe I'll have like a secret house off in one direction. You can do a lot with adding secrets too. I could like make it so you can go inside the house. I wish you could switch freely between platform mode and regular mode, but you can't. Just put floating outskirts in the level. Yeah, you get teleported to floating outskirts. I think I'll just have you like slowly fall down rooms here. And then yeah, I'll turn down gravity so you take longer to fall. It's so nice that that's a thing you can do to like, like time things better. You just have to not abuse it and you're fine. Here, this is like auto, so it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to turn it into a spider here. Whoa, look at it go. Alright, this is going pretty good so far. I'm really liking this so far. It's not jam attack level until everything starts jiggling slightly. Oh, don't worry, there will be parts with jiggling. There will be jiggle physics in this level. I can't stop playing this. I don't know. I, I am such a, like... My levels are always really well playtested because I procrastinate by just playing them over and over. <laughs> oh yeah, I should make the coin route for the ball. I forgot about that. Who's playtesting this one? I'll, I'll release the layout publicly, and then I'll let people find things that way. Okay, now I can place some more roofs down here. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Is that Yorid's house? No, I want Yorid's house to be in a completely different location from the coin. Like, it's its own even harder to get to thing. Could you claim a house close to Yorid's? Uh, sure, you can rent one. It costs $10,000 a month. Blame Yorid. I suppose I can make the timing something more like this. Yeah, there we go. And then we can make this like a really late orb timing. Can you get a cave? Sure, your cave can be down here. There you go. Hope that suffices. I gotta get a start position going here, this is very hard. I gotta balance it properly. I don't know why, I just added Inferno's cave as a joke, but I'm not gonna just add whatever you guys want. It's a one-time thing if I do that, like, as a joke. Has anyone redeemed delete level? Not yet. And it deletes the level if you redeem that. Or I delete the level. Okay, put a pink orb there. Okay, yeah, you just don't click anything there and it works. Um, there should definitely be something forcing you to hit that black orb. I don't know why there isn't. Yeah, there we go. So you can loop your way back around. 
I have like a fence down here. Kills you. Same with down here. It's just gonna be in front of all the buildings, I guess. I guess I could have warped these lines, but I don't care in the layout. So it'll be like a fence down there, like a barbed fence. Rename level to Mountain Dew and make it green and black like Game Boy Genius. That's you fit right in undercover. You fit right in with these kids. Maybe I'll put like a key down there, and then there's another area where the coin is, so it's a two-part thing. This is such a long level that you can do stuff like that. I'm gonna anger Colin. It's just gonna be a two-parter. It's gonna actually unlock something. It's not- the reason Colin is angry about that, I think it was Deadlock that he's angry about. The actual coin that the key unlocks has no challenge to it. Like, you could effectively replace the key with the coin, and it would be no different. Yeah, I think the problem with Colin is not his opinions, it's more the fact that his fans just don't understand the nuance of his opinions, and like, how they're actually rooted in game design. Man, I told myself I'd be faster with this, but I am doing some like crazy complex stuff with the structuring and everything. I wonder how much, how much have I decorated so far? 30 seconds. Okay, so I've made like 30 seconds of gameplay in four hours, but that's not that bad. Um, free mode, and I have to add the camera settings and do that. Yay, fun. I love setting that up every time. Okay, so then I gotta make static camera. You put a 23 digit number into move trigger for starbers. How do you, how do you, how do you do that? That's, you can do that? Why can you do that? He, Rob Top just completely removed the limit, which is sure, that's fair, that's nice. Um, but he also added infinite time, so that's not even necessary. You're insane, aimbotter. You're insane. <laughs> yeah, what if you want it to specifically last like four years? A uh, good point. Yeah, just make it infinite. What are you doing? Are you okay? Okay. This is what this part will look like. It'll be a static camera vertically, but you have the full screen to move up and down as the spider, so it's not limited like the normal spider portal. This is 100% extreme. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> I haven't heard that one yet. <laughs> I've heard plenty of people say that this isn't insane demon, but never in that direction. I refuse to play anything else until this comes out. All right, we'll have fun taking a break from the game for several months. Oh. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Maybe I'll have Yord's house be, or <laughs> Yord's house, Yorid's house. Maybe I'll have that be in like the, the second half. Jamberthin GD. That is the most cursed name I've ever heard. Maybe I'll make like another area you can go down here, like before the yellow portal. Yeah, you could go down there. Maybe that's where I'll hide Yorid's house. Uh, let's hide Yorid's house down here. I, I wonder if it'll show if it's right there. It's Yorid's hut. But yeah, you can't see it. Yorid's house should be very hard to get to. So I do need to like darken some of these, these bits to show that it's a different house in front of the other one. This is using so many unnecessary objects, but I really don't care. I mean, I'm gonna replace it all later. Now you can actually see the separation. Very sad that this isn't the final decoration. Yeah, it looks so good. My 1.0 town. New Mill Pond video. Uh, we should write down that this is Yorid's house. How do you enter your house? Uh, through the chimney. And so you just go here, and then, um, they'll stop the player and beat the level. I don't know why I keep getting distracted. I meant to end the stream. This always happens. It's been over since half an hour since I said I was going to end the stream. Oops. Yeah, that, that seems to happen a lot. So I teleport the player to group 12 and then I, I'll move the camera over to Yorid's house. Uh, I gotta make, I gotta make wood for Yorid's house. When I first heard the term mewing, I thought it was like some like cat boy, femboy thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's see if the inside of Yorid's house works. Uh, huh? No, you, can you rent the house left to Yorid's? Yeah, it's just $10,000 a month. It's pretty affordable. Oh, it's because of the edge triggers. You're right. Okay, why do you have to do left, right, up, down separately? That's annoying. Why do left and right? You're right. You're right. That's a fair point. Oh, stop undoing massive things. Oh, that's a that's a custom keybinds bug. It just starts like massively undoing things and gets stuck undoing things. <gasps> it works. 
very fun. Good good detail, good secret. I'm glad we added that. That was worth my time. Five hours. Okay, I'm I'm done now. <laughs> Five hours is good. I'm I'm happy with that. I've gotten an entire 30 seconds of gameplay done. That's crazy guys. And that's about it for my first stream coming back. If you want to see me build this level, you can watch me build it live on my Twitch. I usually stream a couple times a week. I ended up rebalancing some stuff and finishing the structuring off stream. I also varied these roofs a bit more so they wouldn't all be the same shape. Kinda wish I included more slope gameplay, but it's a bit late for that. <laughs> Shout out to Undercover for making this completely copyright free jingle for Yo Reed's Hut. I'll fill this thing up when I decorate. Oh, also, forgot to mention, you can join my channel for $5 or more and get early access to copies of my levels as I'm working on them, so you can play this level while I'm building it. Anyway, I'll just give you guys a little showcase of these first couple parts, then I'll showcase the coin route, and I think that's good. Enjoy! Mm -hmm. 